Hi everyone, it's Scrappy Kathy here with Challenge Accepted. And this week, Shannon and I are taking on the Rediscover Your Stash uh, monthly product focus. And uh, if you're familiar with that uh, group, they set a product focus and then uh, share layouts made um, using that. And, you know, sometimes it's uh, mixed media, sometimes it's whatever. This time, it's, it's text. Text, word, art, whatever. So that would include using the uh, kind of word uh, uh, stickers like this, and I'm going to use some of those. Um, but I also thought... Uh, I, I've done, and this kind of has to go back, at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club party last Thursday night, Mara O'Reilly issued a bonus challenge called You Had to Be There. And in her video introducing the challenge, she went through some layouts that she had made telling uh, stories of... Um, things that had happened on some trips. Um, just, you know, kind of, you, you had to be there to go through. So this kind of sparked uh, a few stories of mine, and I did one layout where I, um, uh, I used the top part and, and kind of drew some lines and hand wrote some journaling, and I wasn't happy with how that looked. And I did another one where I kind of shortened the story and had drawn a square around my photo cluster and I journaled around that. And it, it wasn't enough of the story, so it's one of those things where I'll probably uh, insert a, uh, I'll probably type up a longer story and insert it in a little pocket behind the layout. So I'll, I'll get the story told, but I, I'm kind of experimenting with ways to do this. Well, when I saw that, focus, I thought, okay, why don't I make my own patterned paper <laughs> and do my journaling on the paper, leaving, and I'm going by this sketch, which is basically, and I've used this sketch several times, I think this may have been our, one of our challenge accepted sketches. Um, it's a, a, a horizontal row of square photos or square elements and then some, some stuff up here, and you've got a diagonal of your uh, embellishments and a title and, uh, and some words there, uh, word strips there. So I did my journaling. I told the first part of the story up here in this section and the second part of the story here. I'm going to arrange, I've printed my photos. I'm going to arrange them. Um, here, it kind of in, in an order. I'm, I'm not going to go, I'm going to maybe have them a little wonky, and we'll, as we pace things down, we'll kind of see how, uh, how that works out. And then I'll fit in the embellishments kind of overlaying on the photos. Uh, I've got room for some word strips here. Let me make sure that I've got this on camera. I haven't been so good about that lately. I have a few small embellishments here that conform to uh, the Mind the Scrap Summer Challenge where I need fussy cutting, three stars, a sketch, which uh, this is it, uh, an, a square element, and I've got square photos, and stripes, and I've got a little strip of uh, striped pattern paper there. So I'll manage to fit all that in. I'll do it on a diagonal. I'll have some things up above here because I've got some room on that photo, and I'll have some things down below because I really don't care much about the contents of this photo. So just because I think we'll have time, I'll tell you the story. <laughs> we lived in Brussels for a couple years, and we loved going shopping in Luxembourg. Uh, it's a beautiful little town. It was a nice drive uh, south of Brussels. And so on one of our trips, we decided to go into Trier, which is a little uh, town that's nearby. It's in Germany. And it's a town where my son used to go when he was stationed at Baumholder, which is a U.S. Army base 
uh, right near Luxembourg and Trier. So we decided to go to the army base and, and we were feeling nostalgic. We kind of missed him. We'd been away from him for a while. He was still back in the States. And so we, we drove down there. This is a photo of us on that day. It's the only photo you'll see from that day. Uh, this was having lunch in Trier. So we spent the night in Trier the next, and uh, or I guess this at, right after this lunch, we had a room in Trier. We, at, right after this lunch, we went and took the drive, drove on to the base. There were um, signs around directing us to the main offices, and we weren't really going any particular place on the base. We just kind of wanted to see what it was like. And he used to talk about a pizza place that he went to and the PX um, where he shopped. So we passed by the PX. I took a picture of that. We passed uh, uh, from the, the road, kind of went up high on a hill. Uh, uh, from the road, you could see this beautiful valley, and there were... Um, barracks around, you know, and this was the river in the, the little town down below. And we snapped a few pictures, actually parked the car, got out of the car, and we saw no one. We saw absolutely not another car anywhere uh, on our drives. So we come up to, we were running low on gas, and my husband had to use the restroom. So we came up to a, a convenience store, and I believe this is it. I got these two photos off the internet because as you'll hear in a minute, I don't have mine. Um, so we stopped at the, uh, at the, the um, convenience store, and my husband, we filled up with gas, and he went inside to pay for the gas and to go to the restroom. So I didn't, I was, you know, playing with the radio. It was um, less than a month after 9-11, it was in 2001, and I was messing with the radio, kind of going around and seeing, we mostly listened to BBC radio, but there were some other uh, radio stations that uh, were reporting on the investigation. And so I thought I'd kind of catch up on that. And I hardly noticed when uh, uh, Jeeps surrounded us with uh, military police in them, and I just kind of looked up and I saw these kids, basically kids in uniforms um, in, in there. And I smiled because my son had been one of them just a few years before. So next thing I knew, the passenger side door and the, um, the driver's side door were just pulled open, guns pointing at me by four guys, four guns pointing at me, ma'am, get out of the car. And so I, I got out of the car and, and I said, hey, I, I, w w what's the matter? What, what's this all about? And they, they, some, the guy who had opened the driver's side, the opposite side that I was on, reached over and grabbed my camera and started flinging it around. He grabbed it by the neck um, strap and, and he said, I've got the camera, sir. And so the leader said, um, uh, explain your business on the base, ma'am. <laughs> so I explained that my son had been stationed there. I wanted to um, see where he had been. I was missing him. He talked about the pizza place. He talked about the PX. Uh, he talked about driving into Trier. So we had gone to Trier. And so the the kid's kind of looking, and, and he's, I, I, I want to say he's like 18 or 19 years old. He, he's really young, but he's got this big old gun, and it's pointed straight at me. And he said, so what, what were you taking pictures of? You know, photography's not allowed on the base, ma'am. And I, I said, uh, just places that, uh, it was a really pretty view down into the valley on, over on one side of the road, and I stopped to take a picture. There was a, a sign on the fence advertising the pizza place, and I, I said to my husband, oh, I wonder if that's the pizza place that James was always talking about. So I took a picture of that, and then we took a picture of the PX as we passed by. We didn't go in. And so he said, uh, and what was the purpose of these photographs? I said, just to show my son when we get home that we were at a place where he had been when he was far, far away from us years before. 
So he gets on the radio and, and, and explains some things to his commanding officer, and the commanding officer gave him some instructions, and I honestly didn't know or care what they were. So he, he told the other guy, he said, hand me the camera. And so the, the guy gave him the camera, and he opened it up and pulled the film out and handed the film to one of the other guys and said, ma'am, I'm not going to confiscate your camera. Please take the camera, get in the car, and, and where is your companion? And I said, he's inside using the restroom. He said, as soon as he gets here, please leave the base. <laughs> not a problem. So anyway, uh, all my photos are gone, except this one was actually on a different roll of film. I had a brand new roll of film in there for the base, and this was taken in Trier, and, and so I have that one. <laughs> so that was taken on that day. And I have the, um, I, I will also include, I, I have in another book, the, um, the room receipt for the hotel. So anyway, that's the story, and, and I'd never scrapped that story before, but Mara's challenge um, kind of uh, inspired me to do it, and I, I wonder how many more of those stories there are. Someone commented the other day, I've told about three of these now, so I commented and said, I, I'm, I'm thinking that you had some harrowing experiences in, on your vacations. I see, it would seem that way, but I've lived a long time. I've had a lot of vacations, and most of them w were, were a lot nicer than that. So anyway, let's get started with this. I kind of want to I've put um, foam on the back of these. Let's get on with the business of scrapbooking, right? And I'm going to kind of put this one... I know that I want my embellishments kind of up on the upper part of that. So I'm going to kind of put this one maybe at an angle right here. And this one can be about in the middle. Let's see. I want to do this one. Put that on there the other way. And that can go maybe in the middle because, and I can put maybe my striped paper down there. Um, okay, and this one needs to be up higher because I'm gonna have some embellishments down lower. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on kind of the same way as the first one. And kind of put that. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And I'll put this one up. And the, it, once I get the embellishments, it'll be, it'll seem balanced. So That's good. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. And this gives me room over here for the title. And I'm sorry, I don't have the title typed up. It's, um, we had a, a, a visit from a heating and air guy and a, um, and uh, we had a telehealth appointment and I didn't get it uh, printed. But what I'm going to do is in the same um, typewriter font in a larger uh, size, I'm going to put a headline that says, um, Mom Detained Suspected of Terrorism. <laughs> and it's, uh, let's see here. I'll do that right there and let that be the, the basis for the embellishments I put down there. And down here, I thought I would use, I have um, this fussy cut flower from Vicki Booten's Let's Wander. It's 
like maybe one of the last of those style flowers. I thought I'd put that there and I'm going to use some uh, leaf, a leaf spray from, well, that's not going to work there, I'll use the smaller one, from a different flower collect, Vicky Booten flower collection. I'm going to do this. I've got a thing here. This says, um, would you point a gun at this woman? <laughs> and that's a tab from this old sticker sheet. I think it's from Color Kaleidoscope because it has this uh, there. I think that's what that is. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do that. And then I'll probably layer these flowers maybe behind that. That looks good and I have this other leaf spray that actually was on a piece of ephemera Is that, will that work? Yeah. And I wanted it to break the line just like this one breaks the line there into that. I kind of wanted that to happen. I've got a little word strip that says capture it. And I'm going to put it here because one of the photos I was trying to capture was this one. And I did. I wonder what happened to those photos. Um, I've got this one that says this happened. And so since it all happened at the, um, at this convenience store and service station, maybe I'll put it right here. This happened. And then I have a clear sticker that says you are here and I thought I would put it on here as well. The photos have some areas that are, that are okay to overlay. So hopefully I get that on there straight. There we go. And I don't want to do a lot of embellishing on here because the, the, um, the whole thing is, is about the story. Um, I do want to use the two butterflies just because they're butterflies and I love butterflies. Let me get the glue, but I don't really need a whole lot of dimension or anything. I don't want it to take away. Let's see. This one is blue and there's a lot of blue in that photo. This one's yellow and there's uh, some nice yellow in that, um, do I want it there? Kind of going that direction? Sure, why not? I'll kind of slide it under that flower cluster. Okay, and here. Again, not... Uh, not doing a lot there. I don't think there's anything else on the sticker sheet that I particularly want. I need my three stars, so I'm going to put them up here in this area. These are the cutest little wood veneer stars that Christina Sorge made. She's the um, brain trust and chief cook and bottle washer at Redefine Creative. 
and she's got a brand new magical machine that cuts acrylic and paper and wood and she can make all kinds of pretty things. Now, in addition to that list, I've got the stripes, I've got the square, I've got the sketch, I've got the stars, and I've got the fussy cut elements. So on the other uh, list that I'm working on, orange, copper, copper I'm going to add with these uh, Nouveau drops, so I'm gonna wait until, you know, see triangles, I don't have any triangles, bright colors, I have some, no specialty paper here, unless you count that as, that's kind of a vellum thing, but I, I think I'll forego the specialty paper. Um, wood stamps, wood veneer, rainbows, don't have any rainbows there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the copper and I will do that in the form of one, let me do a practice dot here, like Scrapping Amy taught me. And let it kind of be fairly significant, and then I'm gonna do another one here. And then I may do I think that's it. I think I'll leave it because the focus is on the story. Now, obviously I didn't follow anything other than the kind of diagonal placement of embellishments. I didn't have this little bit up at the top, uh, but for the most part, I've been, um, I've honored the, the sketch and I got some photos on there that kind of bring attention to the, um, I'm gonna put Trier, um, October 6th, 2001, and this is Baumholder. And this is um, I I think the U R here says it. I don't need to write anything on there. So I think that's my journaling. And I oh no 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 I did a bad thing as I'm writing, and I, I tell you what I'm gonna do is when that dries, I'm actually gonna turn that into three dots. We'll do one, two, and then a third one, and it'll look like there's some shadowing there. So I'll, I think I'll leave that one as one. Ah, I hate that. I may be able to scrape that off. Anyway, um, at this stage of the game, that's gonna, that is what it is, and it's gonna stay that way. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next week on Challenge Accepted, and if you're so inclined, check out Re uh, Rediscover Your Stash. It's a wide open group that has uh, a, a bunch of really, um, inspiring scrappers who post things according to these um, uh, monthly focuses. And it'll be interesting to see what people do with their words and text this month. So, bye. Thank you for watching.